Hello there. Y'all all right? Uh, yes. Very good. Uh, for those of you who said no, it's all right. Okay? Uh, listen. Um, I'm tap trying to be, get her breathing right <laughs> for this moment. So, so many of you have messaged me about my book, um, and have read it, but so many of you have listened to the audio book, which I do, you know, read myself. It's in my voice, but my last chapter, which is chapter 30, which is, uh, there's always a way. I added something very special uh, in this chapter in the audio book. And um, I have received some of the sweetest messages. And um, if you have not heard the audio book, uh, this chapter I talk about there's always a way and I talk about my mama, right? And the things that she did to continue to... Uh, pursue even when her body was saying no right anywho um i'll i'll read you just a little bit some of you may have already you know read or heard this but just so that you know um i'll, I'll read it to you uh gosh where, where do i start to read it I feel like I have to read the whole thing in order for you to get it or to understand it. Um, hmm. Well, I'll tell you without reading the words. Is that okay? Um, so in this, I talk about my mama and uh, after her being diagnosed with ALS. Um, and I know I've told this story before, you know, her started in her hand on her right side and her foot, which pretty much makes her hand uh, not be able to be used anymore. It's like the muscles go to sleep because it's a neuromuscular disease. And um, she was in the middle of writing her her story, her of her life. Um, and when she could no longer write with a right, she taught herself to write with a left. And when she could no longer um, write with a left, she asked us for a tape recorder. And we got her the tape recorder. And when she couldn't use her hands, um, she would have a little, her little thing like so like this, you know, with her pens and pencils in it. And so she would uh, imagine as this is a pencil in her little pencil jar, she would do this and use her mouth to hit record on her tape recorder so that she could record even when she wasn't able to, um, to write. And with ALS over time, even her voice would, you know, became weak and not as strong, but still so very sweet. Uh, and she had all these tape recordings left after she passed away. And before she passed, she told me to make sure I got all her tapes because I was going to tell her story. And um, it took me almost 12 years to listen to those tapes after my mama passed because it was just very hard for me. But in my book, I talk about that. And in the... Um, Audio, if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, in the audio version of my book, the first time that I went to finally get up enough nerve to play the tape, um, I just grabbed one of the many that were in the bag. And the first one I put into the tape recorder was my mama praying and being so thankful from when she had just came out here to visit us the one and only time when we first moved to California. And she was just thanking God um, for her time spent with us. With At that time, it was just me and Chance and Choice. And she said all of our names and she prayed for us. 
And I included that, her voice, uh, in the audio book. And I think about, you know, my mama saying how people going to know me even when I'm gone. And all of the messages that I have received from so many of you who have said, Tab, thank you, um, not only for sharing your mother's voice with us, but for keeping her memory alive, for talking about her often, um, for sharing the signs that she leaves in the dimes, all of those things. Um, I can't help but think <laughs> that when mama said, honey, people going to know me even when I'm gone and you're going to see to it, <laughs> that she must have known that one day I would write a book and I would include her in my book, of course, but also a recording of her would be played uh, in my first book but that people would hear her voice and be blessed by it. Um, the message that my mama was teaching me that I want to share with you in this moment is that not even death, not even death can stop your destiny or your purpose. Not even death. Nothing can stop God's plan for your life and what he's using your life for. Understand? I never could imagine writing a book. Like, I, this was just not something I thought I could do. But I did. And not only did I write it, um, I told true stories about my life that had purpose. When I was going through some things that I thought had no purpose, I thought had no reason. I thought only the only thing can come of this is, is bad and pain. But God used it all for my good. And honey, in this season, I realized, and I know I've said this before, but everything that happened did not happen to me. It happened for me so that I may put it in a book. Even going through the journey with my mama happened for me. Didn't happen to her or to me. It happened for us so that we could share with other people who may be going through. So that we all can help each other um, get through whatever the time is that we're in. Right? Um, life is very interesting in that way. And sometimes it gets a little tough. Uh, and I know you're in the thick of it and you're in a tough time. But it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right because it ain't happening to you, baby. It's happening for you. Okay? Uh, and it's going to be a blessing for you later. And it'll work out for you good. Okay? All right. Honey, this was a lot longer than I intended it to be. But it was just on me so hard um, that I had to share it with you. So that's it. That's it. Uh, thank you again for buying my book. Uh, thank you for listening to the audio. Thank you for the messages you have sent, the kind words. But thank you for hearing my mama's voice. And for sharing it with others. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Now, go on about your business, baby. Have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's hymn. I love you. Talk to you later.